This video is sponsored by me. I don't want you to buy anything. I don't even really mind if you continue to watch this video, but by God, I need you to subscribe. Yes, views pay the bills. However, subscribers seem to have a way of opening up new doors. And I like doors, but what do I like more than doors? Open doors. 85% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel, which makes me feel dead inside. It's simple, it's free. Hit that big red button below and we can all get on with our lives. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, perhaps off the back of my content with my new to me 760LI V12 7 Series, you may not know about my other car. This is my 2004 E85 BMW Z4. And I've owned this car for what's coming up to about four years now. What's interesting about this year, however, is this is the first sort of autumn slash winter, I mean winter right now, where this has not been my only car. I've had another car. First, I had my M240i at the end of last year through to, well, actually, no, it went at the end of last year, and now my 760LI. So it has actually meant that for the first time in my four years of ownership, this has been allowed to sort of hibernate during the winter. And now that the sun is starting to come out, the temperatures are actually rising here in the UK and it's been sort of in the shop having some various bits and bobs done to it. I think it's time we ought to take it out for a drive and blow away some cobwebs. sure what it is they've done but they fixed the coolant issues which is great they also fixed my glove box which hadn't been working ever since I bought the car so that was just a nice little thing that needed sorting also the door handle itself on my side and the door handle carrier have been replaced because I just basically wasn't able to get in the car using the door handle as well as that it had a pretty big well not an oil change but basically an oil top up because it took three and a half liters of fresh oil I think that well I know that there is a leak somewhere and that at some point I'll need to get rectified although it's not completely urgent and soon we're going to be giving the paintwork a little bit of attention trying to bring that up to more of a factory specification if you like there's a lot of sort of stone chips and blemishes all over it so it'll be great to get them looked at and yeah the paintwork looking pretty fresh we're also going to do something with the wheels so we'll have to see <laughs> we'll have to wait and see exactly exactly what whether we recolor them or i'm not too sure but i'm excited anyway to, to give this car a little bit more love now you might also be wondering joel where's the 24-hour challenge you promised us you would live in this z4 for 24 hours and i haven't forgot and i'm also not trying to sweep it under the rug and pretend i never said that 
now that the car is back on my driveway and in a better condition that will be happening now in Britain we have as you can probably see really really narrow roads also littered with potholes I mean there's more lumps and bumps on the roads we have in Britain than there are on the face of an acne ridden teenager it's honestly quite shocking but what's more than that as well as the sort of lumps and bumps what you don't really think about in this country that we sort of have is with our sort of complex topography what I mean by that is lots of elevation changes um, lots of trees at the side of the road but even on our straighter roads the visibility isn't that great so in actual fact in all honesty it's pretty difficult and potentially reckless to drive at pretty high speeds in this country generally speaking and that in one sense is exactly why I love this car so much it is perfect for British roads because it weighs one and a half tons produces 230 brake horsepower it's not ridiculously quick but it is just about quick enough and loud enough to really put a smile on your face and to allow you to ready to go and higher revving as a Honda S2000 but it's just somewhere in between that and yeah in comparison to my 7 it's just this sort of polar opposite and therefore it is something that you look forward to driving because it is so different so for those of you that have sort of watched the channel for a while and followed my progress with this car over the last two or three years hopefully this has been sort of a needed update I suppose on this car um, so they're the things that are going to be happening to it in the immediate near future. I would also be intrigued to look at the potential of turning this into a more track orientated car. If you were watching the channel back in October of last year, I took this car to the Nürburgring and honestly just had the most unbelievable time. I was thinking about it again the other day and it really, it really was one of the best trips I have ever made ever and needless to say you know yeah I, I, I've, I've been thinking should I maybe turn the Z4 into a little bit more of a, a track orientated weapon you know something that I can take on a track day because it's got bucket seats harnesses uprated brakes maybe uprated suspension things like that nothing too major not looking at potentially doing any uh, power upgrades really because actually to get much out of this car you're going to have to spend a lot more money than it's worth in my opinion but never say never and uh, yeah I have been thinking about the possibility of just making it a little bit more track orientated but like I say I'm going to do some things to sort of restore it a little bit in the meantime and uh, we'll maybe take it from there but yeah so if you have been following the channel for a while hopefully this has been a uh, needed update for you guys and also those of you that are here from the 7 series um, yeah this is my other other car but anyway I could rattle on for a while but what I actually want to do is probably just switch all the cameras off and enjoy the rest of this sunny weather with the roof down on these beautiful roads so from me then it is goodbye for this video and I'll see you very very soon for some more updates with this car and of course of course, the 24 hour challenge.